For the latest Blade Runner news updates, be sure to visit hypernetworkyt.com. What it do, Ski Guys? It's Farewell34 here with a brand new Blade Runner topic video. For this one, since Blade Runner 2049 is just around the corner, coming out in a few months, I thought we'd go talk about another Blade Runner movie in the universe that not many people may know about. So for this one, we're gonna talk about Soldier, the Blade Runner sequel that you never knew existed. So let's go get into it. So essentially, Soldier is the 1998 action film starring none other than Kurt Russell, and he's playing the character of Todd 3465, who's a genetically engineered and super trained soldier. The film is supposed to be set in the year 2035. Despite Todd's level of training and expertise in combat, the film follows him and his group as they're being taken over by this more technologically advanced unit that are created to be the top of the line killing machines. Todd 3465 is left to die and on a desolate planet and against all odds must overcome these new and improved soldiers and also protect a crash landed colony from being wiped out. Now, the premise of this sounds fairly interesting. The question now is, is it connected to Blade Runner? And surprise Surprisingly, it is. David Peoples, who was responsible for co-writing the script of the original Blade Runner, actually wrote the Soldier script as well. It was intended to be written as a almost side sequel, according to Peoples. So essentially, this Soldier movie is a spin-off of Blade Runner. Now, before we go and get excited, where's the evidence apart from Peoples writing it? Well, in the movie, we see a spinner appear in the background of one of the scenes. Another would be that Todd's service record actually lists he was there at the Battle of Tahasar Gate and Shoulder of, of Orion. What's the significance of of these battles to Blade Runner. These two were actually mentioned by Roy Batty in Blade Runner during his famous Tears in the Rain monologue. Now another theory if you are one of the people who actually believe in the whole Blade Runner and Alien shared universe idea, there's even more evidence. During a training history sequence with Todd, we see two weapons that are familiar, and they're actually the weapons that appear in Aliens. They are the M41A pulse rifle and the, the USCM smart gun. So there's just another connective tissue right there that connects to the whole Aliens and Blade Runner films. Lastly, the most evident connection there is has to be people's claiming that the genetically engineered new soldiers that replace Todd's squad and he ultimately defeats are actually replicants. Now, these replicants were organically made to be the perfect killing machines, and we also know that the replicants were used for this purpose as well, so this does make sense. Now, this is definitely not confirmed to be canon, as nothing's been officially stated. However, just because the writer says it does not mean it actually is canon. However, there are the connections that are placed in the movies. But that wraps it up for this Blade Runner video. What did you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Phil. 34. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.